Okay, Leo. So as far as your hopes, expectations, fears for love, we have the nine of pentacles, but it's in the reverse. So when I see this, I do feel that love um, and finances have been mingling for some of you. Uh, when the nine of pentacles is in the reverse, it, it almost alludes to living beyond your means. Okay. So kind of living the life of luxury, but not really having the financial ability to back it up. This is also talking about kind of all work and no play. And for a lot of you Leos, that's probably not making you very happy. <laughs> and maybe there's, that's the reason why some of you are just wanting to shop or do, you know, spend money because it feels good because a lot of you are working so hard. Um, it can also talk about just really focusing on money. And some of you might be dealing with a lover that is superficial, or maybe you've been kind of more focused on the superficial aspects of love. This is also kind of alluding to wanting the best that life has to offer, but really not wanting to put in the time or the effort. So for some of you, maybe you want, you know, that ideal relationship, but you're just realizing how much time, energy, and work it takes to make, you know, a good relationship. I mean, it's a lot of work and you're realizing that and you know that. And so for some of you, maybe you're just feeling like it's not the right time. Um, or if you're in a relationship, you're just realizing how much energy it's taking to make it work. And even though on the surface you want it to work, as far as putting that time and energy into it, you're not really about that for some of you. And because this is a general reading, um, a lot of you may actually be de doing okay financially. And it has just been all about work. I mean, cause we have the pinnacles. It's just work, 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 but you're feeling disconnected in love. You, you know, on the surface, on the outside, maybe you have the finances, you have the freedom, you have all the name brands and everything. Um, but you're not feeling connected spiritually and romantically in your love life. I feel like some of you, um, are fate are chasing kind of a lifestyle and the focus is more on appearance and status and prestige. Like you're looking for someone that, you know, is going to make you be able to enjoy life and experience all the luxuries that life has to offer. So for a lot of you, Leo's finances, if you're dating someone, if they, if they can't support themselves, if they're not doing well financially, um, you may not be as open to them in love this month. I mean, this is kind of talking about wanting to live the life of the luxurious, but not really wanting to work for it. <laughs> and you know, that's understandable. Um, this could also talk about maybe Leo, maybe you're a hard worker, but your partner is, is kind of high maintenance and they have been costing you a fortune. So I, like I said, I'm really feeling like love and money is mixed for you this month that somehow it's playing a dynamic in one way or the other. Some of you might be dealing with an earth sign. Maybe you're seeking an earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Because it's in the reverse though, I'd have to say that if you're dating one of these signs, you know, it's not going as you thought it would. I mean, because it's in the reverse. So maybe it's not, you know, you're not feeling really happy about the prospects of this relationship right now. For some of you, this card suggests if you're in a current relationship, uh, there's just a lack of closeness and intimacy, like financially things are okay, but you're just not feeling close to this person. And maybe you're just together because status or it looks good on paper or, you know, the connections or, um, you know, and that might be fine for some people, but for some of you, I do feel like you're kind of feeling a lack of spiritual connection. This is also about just, you know, appearances being deceiving that people may think they know you out on the, you know, outward, you may be projecting like that you're really happy Leo, but on the inside, you're not feeling fulfilled in love or in a relationship. Some of you just might be bored. I mean, this card can actually signify that you're bored. Maybe you're bored with your partner or you're bored with your dating life. I just, I feel like Leo, you have big dreams, you have big visions, romantic ideals. And I just feel like for a lot of you, they're not being fulfilled currently. You know, if someone is look coming after you because they want your money, that can be the other issue. Um, you know, if, if, this can be about kind of like quick proposals as well. Like someone jumping the gun because, you know, but they're really only after your money or it could be the same, you know, for you. 
So I just feel like a lot of you Leos are, are working really hard and you know, you just have not been feeling connected overall in your love life or what your true passions and desires are in regards to love. Okay. So as far as the obstacle card, we have judgment. So this is very interesting, Leo. Um, when we have the judgment card, it's, it's honestly, it's all about karma. So we all know that, you know, everybody kind of does good and bad right in life. But I feel like in regards to your love life, you are being, you are kind of be, you are kind of being forced to grow spiritually in a sense, because you are being called to account for your past or your previous actions in life or even a particular relationship or situation. And for some of you, you're going to be proud. You're going to be proud of yourselves, how you dealt with the situation, how you dealt with the person. For some of you, it might be shaming, or it might be like, you have to, you know, take responsibility. What I feel like is happening is you're being heightened to a higher spiritual level, Leo, and your spiritual purpose, if you have not been happy or if you have been overspending or overdoing it, you know, God and the universe is only going to allow you to go that way for so long. And so for some of you, you know, you're going to kind of be challenged this month to really look at your inner thoughts, beliefs, attitudes in the past. And if you are not happy currently in a relationship, you know, you're going to be able to kind of look in the mirror and, and say, why, what needs to change? What, um, what have I been focusing on or what has led me to this point? And this is not a sense of feeling bad or ashamed. You don't, I mean, you don't want to just like beat yourself up. This is more about awareness so that you can uncover the truth about what's going to really make you happy. What's more balanced in your love life. I feel like you're, you know, this month for some of you, you might be going through a huge transformation and a lot of you are reinventing yourself. So this is kind of about like a rebirth almost. And, and some of you, it's about a rebirth of something that is considered long dead. So a relationship from the past might be kind of coming back to life. You might get to the point where you're ready to transform and, and you're just, you're taking stock, you're taking realization. So I know a lot of you are coming into your birthday and as happy as that event is and a time to celebrate, some of you are, are looking at your life and taking stock of where you're at, where do you want to go from here? And, you know, like looking at the years that have passed and seeing the patterns that have happened. For some of you though, this judgment card, I feel that you, you might be dealing with someone that is a very karmic relationship for you and it's teaching you lessons. So if it hasn't been going well, but you're really drawn to this person, you know, there, there's a strong karmic tie to this person, especially if the, this relationship has been really challenging. And you know, this initial card does kind of point to that. I feel like with the judgment card, maybe you want to move forward full steam ahead, but it is saying, you know, Leo, be cautious. Try not to be too impulsive. Try to proceed with caution and thought and really think things through because a lot of times like karmic relationships, they're incredibly passionate and powerful and intense, but they're also equally as difficult and exhausting and draining. And so it's almost like a drug, like you want more and more and more, but it's like part of you knows it's not healthy for you. So I feel like really trying to see the spiritual lesson in the relationship and, and focus on working things out for the highest good for yourself and for others, because karma comes back to us. Right. And so I do feel this month that whatever you're doing, there is a karmic link. There's a spiritual link connected to it. So some of you are going through these relationships and I have to say you have earth sign, but you also have water sign. So it could be a cancer Scorpio or Pisces, or it could be an earth sign or someone that has that energy. Regardless, um, there's karmic lessons to be learned in this relationship. And, and this just kind of alludes to that a challenge or an obstacle could kind of come into that, into your path this month, but it's not by accident. There's a reason for this happening. And like I said, for some of you, a relationship that you thought was long gone and dead might actually be springing forth back to life. 
And what's beautiful about this is that if it does, you know, honest communication, clear understanding and mutual working together is going to help you move through any issues or problems that you had in the past. Okay. The result or the outcome for some of you is the three of cups in reverse. So the three of cups in reverse, I mean, when it's in the upright, it's kind of all about celebration, uniting with friends and family, having a party. But when it gets in the reverse, it's, it's the opposite of that. So some of you are going to just be working, 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 and not having a whole lot of time for, for social life. This is for some of you, man, this, I gotta say, Leo, a little bit of tough month here in love. Um, this can represent three parties in a relationship or a third person in a relationship. It can represent losing touch with people that you're close to. It can also represent competition. So maybe someone that you're trying to win the affections of, there is a lot of competition. The three of cups, when it's in the reverse, it can represent a failed romance, an ending of a romance, and it can be shocking. It can cause unhappiness because of that. And with this three of cups in the reverse, it can talk about the relationship ending. It's not straightforward. It wasn't just like we're breaking up. It is a, there could be an affair. There could be a third party that has been trying to cause trouble or has caused trouble in the relationship. This person could even be close to you. It could have been a friend. And when the three of cups reverses, it's, it's kind of about overindulging and lack of, of growing. So maybe this isn't you, Leo. Maybe this is your, the person that you are with where they're just not growing. They're not taking the steps and you're trying to move this thing forward and they're just not having it. It's kind of about someone having a hidden agenda. And so, yeah, I mean, I kind of get that in the beginning of the month too, where someone's almost too good to be true. And the temptation is to jump in with that person. And the universe is saying, don't jump in. And it turns out to be that they're not really what they, they had a hidden agenda. They had a hidden motive and, you know, someone on the surface looked like they were amazing but they didn't have the strong spiritual strength or character to, to make it worth your while, Leo. So yeah, I, I do feel for some of you that there's going to be some inappropriate behavior. There's going to be some endings of relationships, even like a breakup or a, a, a celebration or a wedding could be called off. So this is a, this is a powerful month for some of you Leos. This isn't going to apply to everybody, but there's some karmic, really strong spiritual stuff happening. And it's really forcing you Leo to evaluate who you are, where you've been and where you want to go. So just know that, you know, God loves you. He has your good in mind. And all of these situations are here to teach you and to help you to grow. So I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, I would so appreciate for you to like, subscribe to this channel.